along the St. Paul River. They brought with them some of the place names they'd left behind. New Georgia, White Plains, Maryland in Africa, Mississippi in Africa, Virginia. They transplanted the architecture of southern plantations where most American blacks still lived as slaves. My great-grandfather, who came from North Carolina, lived in a house very much like this one. Many of the first black settlers were literate, and quite a few had owned businesses in the United States. Yet for almost a quarter of a century, white governors of the colonization society oversaw the new settlements. They even sent back reports on how the settlers dressed, kept their homes, and set their tables. They had a room, had a cover there for glasses, had a sitting table here for cooler. Here, the dishes cover. Here, the air bags. Here, the table from one anchor to another. We are at least six chairs and six chairs here. So you can see how it was designed up. But all is breaking down. The settlers had to share the land with indigenous tribes whose customs were far from theirs. This is Dimer, a traditional village in the interior, home to the Gola, my mother's people. The Gola, along with the Kisi, are some of the oldest inhabitants of the region. More than a dozen other tribes migrated later. The Pele, Vai, Mende, Dei, Ku, Io, Mano, Kra, Bele, Loma, Grebo, Bassa, Mandingo, and Bandi. <laughs> 